Hello there. Sir from 17 once again. This is my Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Fox Alive run. And we've got to the moment you were all anticipating. How exactly do you spare Sam? Well, the answer is you don't. <laughs> but on this run, you do. At the end of this fight, guys, there is a quick time event that completes the encounter. And you press the two buttons as you've been doing the whole game. And then it does an animation where you have to cut the sword out of Sam's hand. And to spare him, you don't cut it. However, if you miss, he counters you and it does damage. So we have a bit of a dilemma. And the answer is you get to the QTE and you've won. It was just something a little silly that I added because I wanted to do an homage to Grey Fox from Metal Gear Solid. So if you don't know, back in the good old days of Metal Gear, Snake had a fight with a, a certain, is he Frank Yeager, I think his name was? True fan, right? Don't even know his name. <laughs> but he had a fight with a soldier on a minefield in Zanzibar. And it was an enemy that was a friend in that moment. A closeness was shared between those two soldiers. And later on, in a different game, one of that soldier's family members tries to kill the the soldier that killed her. Someone she really cared about, which was that character. And she de decides to use something which is a, a form of nano machines, of all things. I know, the memes. But this was back when nano machines were cool, before Armstrong turned them into just silly speeches at the end of this game. And she used a specific variant of them to get her revenge. And it was called Fox Die. This entire run exists because of what Naomi did. And this was my homage to her. Because I think, of all the people in this, to qualify as that soldier who's on the enemy team, who's just as capable of you, as you, sorry, and in that moment when you're fighting, is essentially your friend. So, this is not Raiden and Sam. This is Snake and, and Frank and Grey Fox, you know? And they're fighting, not in this wonderful, beautiful sunset in this desert area on this stretch of highway. This is a minefield in Zanzibar. And unluckily, we'll probably never get to see that fight like this in a cool game because it's it's being held hostage on an old console, a very old console. You might not have even heard of it. It's that old. So this was my nod to that. And there's going to be a little bit of a bonus in here at the end for the people who are excited. And for the people who want me to talk about this fight, there's really not too much to say. Other than there are certain moves that Sam does where you can parry the enders. And uh, hopefully he doesn't automatically dodge the parries because if he does, you'll have a long night. And then when he starts running away towards the final half of the fight, if you run away from him, you program a very aggressive counter to you running away where he either does a dashing slash that's ludicrously quick or he does the combination of jumping moves or charge moves like this. And you'll notice if you watch this fight again, guys, if you're too distracted or what have you, Every time he jumped away from me, instead of chasing him, I ran away. Because when you do that, you bring him to you. So watch this. He does the rock, and he's going to come to me. There you go, see that? Every time. You never have to chase Sam. You can let him come to you. This fight really isn't that difficult once you play it enough. But when you don't know it, it feels really hard. And if you're playing on Revengeance with a fully upgraded sword, you parry him twice and you win. <laughs> because if you parry him right and you activate Ripper Mode and you do it when he doesn't have any of the safeguarding, you will absolutely brutalize this fight. But it is fun, I just don't agree with him running away so hard. But here we go. Here comes the Triple Blades. This is the kind of fight I'd love to redesign as well because I think it could be even better. Because he really is the most dynamic thing in this game. There aren't any real fights in this game that can do the things that he can do. And he has a lot of moves should he choose to use them. And sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. He's got a lot of potential, is what I would say. And he is the coolest character in the game. He's got the coolest sword. Like, everything about him is just... He's a great character. But I think when you get his... If you parry him right now, 
on any of these attacks where you can actually parry, I think the Repulse will do enough damage to put him to the threshold of the cutscene. Because I think the cutscene threshold is 8%. So we'll get it here, hopefully. But I fucked up the parry, so we won't. But let's have a look. Because on this difficulty, your parry does 15% damage. So this might be it here. Boom. Boom. Right, I've won. Thank you for watching. You take care now. Now, in front of you, I can finally die. After Zanzibar, I was taken from the battle. Neither truly alive nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon. <laughs> <laughs>